Okay, so the next thing I want to look at, just just quickly, um, because I'll probably be doing a lot more of this later when I'm yeah, when I'm doing the the performance example. So I want to just touch on it very quickly, is the smaller voicings uh, getting away from doing the full bar chords that we all, that we all know, and just focusing on the top three strings and what notes, uh, what we'll say, uh, which were mostly referred to as uh, triads. Um, and upper structure triads as they relate to um, the root or what the bass player is doing. And um, so you'll, you know, you'll have this shape, which is gonna work over your D minor, or an E. And that's just the F, F major triad. Um, so you have to get, we're going to get those triad voicings together, um, and if we put the, the third on bottom, if we're in the key of A, so that's your other shape, and we'll also look at uh, uh, your minor shapes. So there we have uh, like E minor voicing. And the other thing uh, which I also think uh, is great with, particularly with playing uh, funk grooves per se, is when you can have some upper voicings that have uh, seconds in them. That means two notes that are, that are right next to each other, like in, in the key of A minor. If we start with the, the C on the bottom. And then on top we're gonna put the, the, the seventh and the root, and you have these seconds on the top which by themselves, you know, it sounds pretty harsh, but with the, when you put the third on the bottom, it just creates a great sound for a rhythm pattern that can, that can jump out in, in the context of playing a groove. And it, it sounds like this. And also uh, another voice in which is also very common uh, is, is having uh, this... for a sus chord that resolves to the third. And here you have the sec seconds on the bottom. And another great funk voicing in, 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 uh, is with the s these seconds on the bottom. So you have the flat seven in the root and then the fifth on top. And it sounds like this. And then also we have this one more minor voicing, which is this, this triad. Which is your also, which is the top part of your E9 chord, and then you take that up a whole step, and then you have the root and the third and the sixth, and that's a sound we've all heard. So you know they, they work with these uh, these simple triads, and you've heard this, you know. Uh, so getting these upper structure triads and incorporating those. In place of the bar chords, uh, you know, it's a great resource to draw from when creating your rhythm parts.